Please? I synthesized a new version of the algae this weekend, based on our design from last week. It's stabilizing really well. Oh, that's... Um, good morning, Ada. Oh, yes, good morning. Take a look at the algae. I think you'll be happy. That's the cutest bot I've ever seen. I want one. I'm so lucky I ended up with Ada as my project supervisor. She's super talented and the sweetest person once you get to know her. At first, she can be a bit, um, haughty. Hmm, that's looking good. Just like our model. Just like your model. The transmutation rate is at 150% of the previous model and holding steady, masha'Allah. I think we're ready for a test. Test? Oh, no, I don't know. Maybe we should run another simulation, or 20? There's nothing to be worried about, Zoe. So far, your models have performed admirably. There's no reason this won't work in an organic environment. That organic environment is a river. A river that runs through my neighborhood. A very, very public river. The permits are all in order. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about that. If this fails... It won't. If it does, my failure will be staring me right in the face every morning. Failure is how we succeed. We won't know until we try. And if we fail, we try again. We? Me? I'm the one who has to live with the consequences. Zoe, you decided to go back to school, finish your degree. That was a choice you made, and it was the right choice. Now, part of that is facing the possibility of failure. Failure will always be a part of the job, part of life. And you're right. The models won't always hold up. The river is a chaotic environment. The algae might die. It might do something completely unforeseen. Allah alam. And if the river does turn pink, you've learned something. We go back to the models, we try again. You should be proud of the choice you made. And you should embrace the consequences, no matter how embarrassing or trying they may turn out to be. <laughs> I'm done talking now. That was a lot more words than I'd intended. Yeah. Wow. Good ones, though. Those were good words. Ready to do some science? <sighs> you bet. But if that river turns pink, you're running the next set of tests. Deal. By the way, I did leave the lab this weekend. Don't tell me. You went clubbing. I don't drink or dance, or enjoy the company of people. No, I went shopping. I knew I hadn't seen that outfit before. It's beautiful. That's not... Uh, well, yes, I did also get these clothes. Uh, thank you. But more importantly, I purchased a refurbished bot to help with the tests. From Mira. You recommended her? I think my exact words were, Mira's insane, I wouldn't trust Mira with my money, please don't buy a bot from Mira, you will regret it. She's close, and cheap. So, here's the bot. You're taking the bot with you to run tests. Say hello to bot. Hello, bot. Hello! Oh, that is so cute. You're so cute. Thank you. Glad to see you're getting along. You know what to do. Science? Science. I'll see you afterwards, inshallah. That's the cutest bot I've ever seen. I want one. This is all CTU's equipment bought with grant money. Once we've finished with the project, everything will be shipped back to Cape Town or sold to whoever takes over the lab.
What are we doing today? Are we playing something? Uh, no, we're... Actually, yes. Yeah, we're playing. Down by the river. That's cool. I like playing. What are we playing today? We're playing, um... Take the algae for a swim. Ow, gee. What are those? They're tiny animals that live in the water, like fish. Fishies. I like fishies. Fishies are huge. <laughs> like fishies. Sure. Works for me. So what are the rules? The rules are, uh, that we need to find places where there's plenty of food for the algae, for, for the fishies. Okay. And the fishies eat... Pollutants. I know. They process pollutants and excrete a chemical that cleans the river. Sesto in my head. There's no way you can convince okay. me that yes. Kaiser Gun That's consume. exactly what they do. We hope. So, okay, the algae, the, the fishies, need to be let out where there's enough pollutants. That way they will be well fed. Your job, I mean, uh, the rules of the game are as follows. Look for parts of the river with pockets of pollution. We go there and test the water to see where to release the, um, the fishies. Finally, we let the fishies out for a, a walk. Roger, Roger. You really are the cutest. She gets a lot on the ladder, but Rebus is straight up. I think I'm going that distance. Time to play. Time to play. Can you do a flyover of the river from here and down to the end of the bricks? That sounds like fun. Send a live feed to my iris. Based on visual observation, I'll mark the areas where we can release the fishies. Okie dokie. There, that looks good. That's another one. And a third. Perfect. You can come back now, kiddo. Awesome job. Was that fun? It was fun. I like flying high. I get horse flies in my tummy. Butterflies. H how is that possible? You don't have a tummy. They gave me one. For the butterflies. Whoever made you did an amazing job. Okay, so let's head to the first test area. You ready? You betcha. Let's go. You know, she gets a lot on the air, but Rebus is straight up. I think I'm voting manifesto this election. She's weak. She points where the prevailing wind blows. I'm sticking with the alliance. Playtime. What are we doing? We're taking the fishies for a swim. What I need you to do first is to run a detailed scan of this section of the river and tell me where there's a dense pocket of pollutants. So you mean show you where there's food for the fishies? Affirmative. Affirmative. At least no one here is voting Kaiser Constantine the European Dawn, right? Ugh, talk about gross. I read in the hand that Wolf's been on trial twice for rape. Acquitted for arts he The Kaiser gets no vote from me. Dan! He's a what are we doing to... next? The scan confirms there's a perfect spot for the fishies out there. I'll point you there using my iris. What 
What's up, Soir? I don't care, as long as we not club it. That's the spot. Release the package there. I mean, uh, that's where we take the fishies for a walk. That's great. Now you... Watch out! Oh, that was close. Keep your eyes open and um, your sensors active. I don't want you to get crushed. Good job, kiddo. I'm getting a reading from the fishies. They're playing and having fun. Too bad the boat's in the way. We're not getting as much data as we'd like. Let's head to the next spot. Yay. Let's pretend I'm the mum and you're the baby. Come with me, baby. <laughs> okay, mum. Should I start the scan? You know the drill, kiddo. Affirmative. are in the way. I don't want the readings to be affected. We need to figure out how to move those barrels. Just tell me what to do. Try pushing that barrel further out. Affirmative. Good job, kiddo. Could you try pushing that barrel further out? Sure. It's too heavy. I can't move it. Did I lose the game? Of course not. I'll figure something out. Yay. The ferry's been beached by the eye clampdown. Looks like he's in charge of the ferry. The ferryman, I guess. On any other day, I'd be telling you to step aboard and hold tight. When I ring the bell, the ferry will take you across. But there'll be no bell ringing now that the Eye has shut down all unauthorized traffic in and out of Propast. My bell has been silenced. I have no purpose in life. You're saying the ferry crosses when you ring the bell? Precisely. Except there will be no bells rung today. Uh, sure, but back to the whole mechanic behind it. This is an automated ferry that's triggered by the sound of a bell. That's the way it works, I... I ring this bell, the ferry crosses. I ring it again, the ferry comes back. Simple, really. Instead of, I don't know, you remote controlling the ferry via your iris. 
I don't believe in integrated tech. I believe in keeping old traditions alive. Right. So you sound the bell and this completely automated robotic ferry crosses the river. Aye, that's the gist of it. Let's have some fun. Yay. Fly over there and ring that bell for me, would you? Affirmative. I see what you're trying to do, little miss. It won't work. I'll call the eye on you both. Hey, can you grab that rope over there and give it to me? I can do that. Thanks, kiddo. What are you going to do with it? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Is this part of the game? Definitely. The ferry usually shuttles people across the river as an alternative to the bridges, the underpass and taxis. But it's been shut down by the eye. What do I do now, Zoe? Can you loop this rope over the barrel and secure it? Affirmative. What do I do now, Zoe? Attach the other end of the rope to the boat. Make sure it's tightly fastened. Yes! This is fun. was so much fun, Zoe. What's going to happen now? Well, for my brilliant plan to work, the boat has to move, but I'm not sure when that will happen. We may need to provide some, uh, some incentive. Can you try ringing the bell again? But the man was upset. Was that part of the game? Not really, but let's try anyway. Okie dokie. Do you want me to lose my license? Just to make sure I got this right. Aye. You ring the bell, the ferry crosses. Aye. Well, not today. The eye is shut down. But that's you not ringing the bell. The ferry is still fully operational. It's just awaiting the, um, tolling of the bell. Aye, but if I sound the bell and the ferry crosses, the eye might take my license away. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Just to make sure I... I you ring... Aye. But... Aye. Let's hope that... You so, so sorry.
That bell controls the ferry. I don't get it, but that's what it does. Hey, what? What are you doing? Leave that rope alone. No one yanks my rope, not on my watch, not with the eye having banned all traffic across the river. He's upset. He is. And also, my brilliant plan failed. Something's not right with the plan. Or, just tell me what to do. Can you try ringing the bell? But the man, not okay. Stop that! 